All right, so clearly that image behind me tells you that we're about to talk about the man John Dramani Mahama. In three days, he would be leaving the office as a president of the Republic of Ghana. Earlier, we brought you some of the many things he had uh, done and things that he will be remembered for. Some say that he was a youthful, approachable, and passionate president. But beyond these words, we want to find out what are the real legacies that Mahama would be remembered for. Let's watch this. This is the longest flyover and the highest flyover in West Africa. We are today beginning a new chapter in transit that we so desperately needed as our economy has been growing and people needed to get to work. During the life cycle of this project, government created several thousands of direct and indirect jobs. With this opening of this interchange, we believe that several thousand more jobs will be created as a result of the trade and economic activity that this project will facilitate. Within the past four years, my government's transformation agenda truly encompasses all aspects of our lives as a people and all sectors of our country with our focus firmly fixed not just on people and all sectors of our country on january 7 president john dramani mahama will be part in company with the people of ghana as a president of the republic and during his term many things have happened and some people even consider him as the coolest president ever we ask what are some of the fond memories you have about the president when you're passing through rich hospital when you see you remember oh this is what john has done he has done a lot of for, for us in the in the infrastructure for the nation and i think that's the greatest thing that i can remember from the mpp was accusing him of incompetent where he was telling them that they have never been in government and why are they saying about incompetent certainly uh, he will be remembered for several things but we've been joined in studio by dr roger Coranting. He is the head for public governance, Commonwealth Secretariat, uh, which is based in the United Kingdom. Um, good afternoon, sir. Thank you for joining us. A yeah, pleasure. Okay. Thank to you. start with, I mean, in your capacity as a governance expert, someone who's monitored activities of uh, elections and politics and governance on the African continent, specifically focusing on Ghana, how would you remember President John Dramani Mahama? Affable. But in terms of governance, I think uh, President Mahama uh, continued the democratic uh, credentials Ghana has struck for himself. You know, every country will be noted for something. Okay. If you go to Botswana, they are the least corrupt country in Africa. Mm -hmm. In Ghana, we are noted around the world as for a country of uh, democratic credentials or good governance. And President uh, John Mahama continued that path. Does issues of legacy that a president will leave have anything to do with 